thank you all so much for stopping by the channel today and welcome back to a brand new outfit tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you two very easy male checkerboard outfits together with the white joggers. So if you want to know how to create these, then please watch further. So I'm going to show you the full tutorial also with the outfit transfer glitch um, involved into this and with the merge glitch and how to get the end result, which is shown on the thumbnail. So first of all, you want to apply the outfit on your male character that you would like to keep. Because this glitch wipes all of your current outfits on the male and you have to delete your second character in order to do this. Now once you have that, you're going to be hitting a swap character and we're going to be creating a brand new second female character where we are creating the components on and we will delete her after doing the glitch. So just give it any type of appearance and then you're going to hit save and continue and you want to take it into an online session. So now that we are loaded in the session, we are going to be creating the component outfits to transfer over to the mail. So I've created four component outfit slots, two for each checker red outfit. And for the first one, we have the red version and for the other uh, slots, we have the white version. So it is up to you if you create both of the outfits or if you create one of them. So we're going to start off with the components for the red outfits. So for slot number one, we are first of all applying the spotted muscle pants as always to merge the pair of white joggers. Now on top of that, we're going into the tank tops and we're applying the white stripe cropped tank top. Now for shoes, we're going into the sport shoes and we are putting on these blue sport shoes for the checkerboard shoes. So now for accessories, we are applying this gold as a necklace, which is the white tie. And then for gloves, we are putting on the light woodland tactical gloves. Now, once you have this, you're going to save this on outfit slot number one. And then we're going over to slot number two. Now, as you can see, all the components stay the same. We are just changing the top components and we're going to be adding a checkered canvas hat. So you want to change the top components into this blue cropped leather jacket. And underneath that, you're putting on the black lace posture. So now we're going into the hats, go into the canvas hats and put on the gray plaid canvas hats. And then we are saving this on a slot number two. So now these are the components for the red outfit. So now we're going over to the components for the white outfit. And as you can see, it is kind of similar. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go back into the tops. We're going to go into the bus chairs. And we're going to change it into the camo bust chair. As you can see, the pants, the shoes, and the gloves will stay the same. We are going to be changing the necklace into these black and white deco earrings. And then we are saving this outfit on a slot number three. So now for the last outfit, which is saved on slot number four, we are changing the top components again, and we're going to be adding some checkerboard glasses to this one. So again, you want to apply that blue cropped leather biker jacket. And then we're going into the bust chairs again, and we're changing that into the teal lace bust chair. So now for glasses, we are applying these copper marbles. You want to make sure that you still have the gloves and the earrings applied and the pants and the shoes. And then we are saving this on outfit slot number four. So now all of your components are done for both of these checkered outfits. So you can choose to fill up the rest of your slot with your components. Or else you can do the outfit transfer glitch. Transfer your components over just like I'm, I, I'm going to be doing. And if you need any help with that, a video link will be in the description box down below. So I'm going to be transferring the components over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. So we are back here on the male character. I have completed the outfit transfer glitch. And right now I'm going to show you how to merge the outfits together to get the end result as shown on the thumbnail. So first of all, you want to make your way over to the clothes store. Make sure, sure that you save your current outfit that you didn't want to lose. Make sure that you do that at the bottom so it is not in the way of the merging process. Now, now uh, from this point, you need the white joggers. I will leave a video link for that in the description box down below on how to get them. You can also use the white cargo joggers with some boots underneath them. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the merge um, components for outfit number two first. We're going to save that and then we're going to be doing the merge components for outfit number one. That will go a lot quicker. So on top of your white pants, you're going to put on any type of suit jacket. 
then you're going to apply a business shirt underneath then you want to go over to the accessory section go into the ties and make sure that you put on the white tie at the bottom now for gloves we are putting on some black gloves it doesn't have to be the same ones as i am doing you can also choose a different pair of black gloves and then we are saving that at the bottom of our outfits list it will be for outfit number two but then we already have it set like that so we're going to start off by merging outfit number one and for that we are going back into the tops and we're going to put on the boost motocross uh, first make sure that you take off the jacket or else you will not see the gloves and once you have the boost motocross racing jersey applied it should have these gloves attached to it so with this combination we are walking out of the clothes store you don't have to apply anything else make sure that you do have a earpiece um, in your interaction menu or else you are not able to save the two outfits you can purchase that at the emanation if you do not have one so once it is all set we're going over to the Ruxa created first job called crooked cop you can either host it or join it from somebody else but make sure that you set clothing to player owned now once that is set you're going to wait until the job is loaded up and you will be at the next screen so from here you're scrolling over to owned outfit and you want to click two times to the right so first we have the checkered tank top and then we have it merged through the red vest shirt and also the checker and hat glitched through it so you're gonna hit ready to play and as soon as you are in the mission you want to open up your interaction menu go to style accessories and on gear you want to click once to the left to put on that earpiece so once you have that close it down then you can simply pull up the phone and quit this mission so now that we are back you can do the same thing go back into your interaction menu and press once to the right on gear to take off your earpiece and then outfit number one is done so we're going to save that again at the bottom of the outfits list and then we are deleting the component slots for outfit number one so delete slot one and two and then we are going to be merging outfit number two so we made the uh, merge outfit for outfit number two in the beginning with the suit vest and the white tie on it so just simply apply it and then you are going back one more time inside of that crooked cop mission so again, clothing player owns, you know how that works. I got kicked many, many times, so that's why I'm fasting forward in here. But once you have found that mission, you are back on the clothing player owned screen. You want to scroll back to owned outfit, and again, you're going to hit two times to the right to merge the outfit together. So first we have the checkerboard blouse, and then we have the white vest shirt, and it's adding the checkerboard glasses and the, um, the white tie on it. So now again you're going to hit ready to play make sure that again you put on that earpiece by clicking once to the left close the interaction menu and quit the job so now the two outfits are basically done you can delete all of the component slots and you can save it at the top of your outfits list just like i'm doing right here i'm just rearranging everything so that it looks good inside of my saved outfits list so what you're going to do right now is finish them off with any accessories that you like so outfit number one already has the hat on it but for outfit number two, I am adding the white helmet to it if you want to know how to get it. A link will also be in the description box down below for that. So I'm just going to be going to the hairdresser to change a little bit about my appearance. And then this will be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a thumbs up if you like these outfits. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications to get informed with the latest videos. Then I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye guys!